hello and welcome back okay so let's add some pages here shall we mm -hmm. so let's see how we can go about doing that so i want to create a maybe we should create a pagination class but before we do that let me let's see how we can do it generally so if i go to shop here there are all these items here and there are these uh, small buttons here. We're not going to be using these because these will be, we'll see. If there's time, uh, we're going to create something for these as well. But for now, I just want to add a previous and next button. So let me go to shop view so I can add it there. So once we get it working, then we can create maybe a function or a class that we can just be pasting there to make things easier. All right, so I go to my views here and I want to go to shop.php and down here, very bottom, I have the pagination class. Very nice. So let me, maybe let's use a list item, shall we? Let me see how well that will do. So if I add a list item here and just say a previous page like this, creve, and then let me uh, put next at the very end. Let me just duplicate that and just say, um, wait, 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 wait. I'll say next, like so. Let's see what I get. Refresh. Okay, so previous and next page. Eh, looks okay to me. Or you may want to move this one. Let's try a class here. Uh, pool. Right. Let's see if that works. No, nah, doesn't seem to work at all. Maybe we do it on the here. Let's see if that works apparently not so we could put separate buttons but i think this is okay for now we can use it as it is what matters is the uh, uh the functionality all right so we have a previous and a next button okay so the fact that we have uh clean urls here doesn't mean we can't use get variables so we want to be able to put a question mark at the end of the URL and then add a, uh, a page number. So what I will do is I'll go to the controller. So let's go to the home uh, shop controller in this case. So shop.php, very nice. And then let's put the requirements for pagination. So we are on the Let's try right here on the index page. So let's put pagination formula right there. So the first thing we need to know for us to paginate is obviously the page number. So I'm going to say page number is equal to. Now at this point, I will simply check if there's a get variable that is set. So I'll, I'll check get page. I don't know what we'll call this pagination thing. Maybe we'll call it page number like that. Or just page maybe. Or PG, something like that. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you what you want to do. And then let's put a question mark like that. Okay, good. So if this is set, of course, we're going to assign page number to the value there. And we'll just make sure that it's a number, so we'll cast it as an integer. No decimal places or the like. Now, if none of the, that is set, we're going to assign page number to value one because we are, the default is page one, so that's good. And then what we need now is an offset, a value of an offset, and we're going to set this offset to be equal to, um, so offset is going to be equal to page number. Hopefully I haven't forgotten this formula. Page number minus one, and then we multiply that by the, um, 
by the limit yeah but I didn't specify a limit here so let's do that just now so I'm going to say limit is equal to 10 so let me explain what's going on here now the way um, MySQL works in terms of pagination is like this so let's just go to MySQL here for a second and see what we can do so products mm -hmm. okay so I have uh, how many items here uh, ID 7 to 14 that's about seven items so let's imagine I want to get um, item let's say page 2 so let's say I divide this into pages two items per page one two three four so I have four pages here so if I go to page one obviously it's going to be seven and eight page two is going to be nine and ten page three eleven and twelve and so on so how do I know to only get nine and ten which is page two well there are two values there's one uh, the limit and then there's the offset so the limit we've already been using here as you can see um, where do I have a query over here let me go to my home thing here as you can see here I used limit 5 which means it's only it only gets a limit of five items so that we already know but the offset is where should it start from so I can tell it to limit to 2 so here there will be two items limited to two items but how do I tell it to get these two items here I'm going to put an offset and tell it to start from number two so an offset of two means you omit two items then you start from here and get two items just like that now in order to get a formula that works for offset let me go back here where is that uh, where did I put the formula okay there we go so what I do let's imagine um, like we have seven items of uh, seven items in there so I want to imagine the first page let's say I have uh, one two three four five six seven items or eight just in case we like this so if I want to get uh, this one and this one for page one okay let's imagine limit is two that's an amount of items per page so if I want to get this one and this one the offset will be zero because I don't want to offset anything I just want to get the first and the second that makes sense but then if I want to get this what happens so we have page number here which is going to be equal to two because now we are on page two okay so 2 minus 1 that's 1 so we have a 1 in here and then we multiply that by the limit which is 2 so 1 times 2 is 2 so it's going to offset by 2 and then get two items which is the limit and then let's go to page 3 so page 3 here this is going to be 3 minus 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 2 times the limit which is 4 which means we're going to have an offset of four that's one two three four and they need to start here and get two items this is uh, the basis of how pagination works so hopefully that's not too confusing but if it's confusing I don't mind just uh, do as required you will eventually get the hang of it so let's put the limit at four just so it's more reasonable and we get that offset there so great we have now a limit and we have an offset which is awesome so I'm going to copy this offset which is a variable here and go to um, let's see where we are reading stuff from here so I want this uh, pagination to work even on the search so even when we are searching for an item pagination should work so I'm going to go to the very end and say limit and then I will put the limit variable and then I will say offset immediately after and I'll put the offset variable like this so that's how you make the pagination limit limit offset offset with variables there so I'll do the same thing here limit limit offset offset great this is the only place we really need that actually 
uh, what are we getting here though select all from products this is in the category when I get a specific category right so these two requires a similar thing so I'll put those things there but don't forget to add the pagination content uh, formula at the top here because otherwise it won't know what variables those are so let me put this down here okay great great okay that should do it so let's see this thing in action it's already ready to use so back to shop no shop right there refresh so if you notice now we only have four items that's because that's the page limit we have put on ourselves so maybe I can change that to three let's go here to three so it's not a good idea to have several places like this to change it would be nice to have a central place to change this but there we go so we have three items here but I want to go to the next page so if I click here nothing changes at all however if I go to the top here in page here and put a question mark and then I can say page is equal to it's not actually page it's PG that's what we've named it there I'll put two there so that we go to page two yeah. as you can see here things are working out uh, it worked so we are on page two now and let's go to page three okay so we are on the final page let's go to page four very nice nothing on page four what about page minus one okay so we get an error there obviously and we don't want such things all right so at least we have something that resembles uh, a page thing but let's be able to let, let's add our features so that we are able to just click on the buttons and make it happen so let's do that in the next video